play a round called Colonel Gagafi. This game <laughs> involves Holly, Stuart, Andy and Russell. So if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This is where we test our performance stand-up skills. We spin our news generator, it settles on a topic, and anyone can volunteer jokes about the chosen subject. The winners are the people I judge who produce the funniest stuff. OK, here we go. Let's spin the wheel. The first subject is international relations. Who wants to come in on that? Andy Parsons. <laughs> Now, the new head of the Tamil Tigers, he's been arrested by Sri Lanka. Now, I always think uh, the Tamil Tigers, they don't really sound like a terrorist group, do they? I always think they sound more like a rugby league team. <laughs> it seems that even the terrorists are resorting to marketing techniques to try and get more members. Are we soon going to have the Al-Qaeda rhinos? <laughs> Will it be the Israeli Broncos against the Hamas Cowboys? <laughs> Maybe it's not even the real IRA. Maybe it's Real IRA. <laughs> Thank you very much, Andy Parsons. OK, let's spin the wheel again. The subject is dating. Who wants to come in on that? Holly. My favourite way of meeting people at the moment is this thing called Close Encounters or I Seek You. You might have seen this as the people who text into the free newspapers and they go things like, I was the girl in the grey jacket. You were the guy reading the book on the train. Call me. Have you seen these? I saw one the other day that said, I was the guy in the skin tight orange vest top. You were the girl pointing and laughing. Call me. <laughs> I was the guy in the tweed jumpsuit. You were any woman. Call me. <laughs> My friend works for the only newspaper in Guernsey and she said they tried to run one of those I Seek You columns but they had to drop it after a week because it was like, oh, it's the guy in the white apron and everyone's really going, oh, that'll be Dave. <laughs> There's only seven people on this island, you stalker. <laughs> Thank you very much, Charlie. <laughs> OK, that leaves it with Stuart and Russell. Let's spin the wheel. The next topic is the Consumer Society. Russell. <laughs> <laughs> um... It's all a bit much, isn't it? I went into a shop the other day that said, why not try a guilt-free wrap? You're like, don't make sandwiches evil. <laughs> sandwiches are lovely. The bacon sandwich, one of the loveliest thing in the world. What is this, a bacon sandwich? Essentially, it's bread giving a dead pig a cuddle. It's a lovely <laughs> thing. I love you, Mr. Pig. Why do the Jews hate me? It's <laughs> I was really down about it, and then I saw this wonderful thing that I think could only happen in the West Country. The bloke behind the counter in this shop yawned. The bloke in front of him, who did not know him, popped his finger in his mouth <laughs> and went, ooh, yawn rape, and I nearly died. <laughs> I, had, I had never seen a yawn rape. And now you've learned about it, you can't not do it. You'll be on a bus, you'll see an old oh, yawn rape, you can't help it. <laughs> Did the bloke behind the counter headbutt him? No, he didn't. The bloke behind the counter giggled and went, it's a good job I didn't fart, wasn't it? And you're sat there going, well, the world is a better place. Thank you very much, Russell. <laughs> OK, sure, let's see what you've been left with. Let's spin the wheel. The next topic is health. <laughs> oh, that was a long walk. <laughs> <laughs> OK, health. <laughs> Money, money-wise, I'm set for life, provided I die next Tuesday. <laughs> Ladies, I wasn't circumcised, I was circumnavigated. <laughs> Just because I have arthritis doesn't mean I can't live a normal whole. I'm a paranoid schizophrenic, but you know what they say. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately for agrophobics, the cure is just around the corner. <laughs> My manic depressive buddy was attacked by a bipolar bear. <laughs> My therapist says I have a preoccupation with vengeance. We'll see about that. My neighbor's in the Guinness Book of Records. He's had 43 concussions. He lives very close. In fact, just a stone's throw away, but the point. <laughs> to your health, my friends. At the end of that round, the point goes to Sherman Holly.